angry woman, flat chest, mash button, 30 FPS, seven years, five hours, at your grave, we'll leave some flowers, video game you ain't, schizo voice, new yellow paint, did a white man just have an opinion? Better apologize and lose some millions. Hungry box pop off, got them shaking. They hormone treatment while they easy baking. Microsoft got AI watching. Collect data when you squanching. Star Wars outlaw skull and bones. Johnny Somali, Samurai Nippon. Canadian say Yasuge. Rainbow Squad and Sweet Baby, me homo fear head to row healing, Promelia weathering bone or stealing, IGN absorb and fire, brace for updates from Jason Schreier. What's done is done, how can I pity? Apologize like P. Diddy, count your blessings while I sing, can't fly too far on borrowed wings. Hello, beta testers. I've been having these weird thoughts lately. You know what gamers' problem is? It's mainly that we have standards. Some of us inadvertently pick them up because we played something that doesn't suck before. So now we are unfortunately equipped with the expectation that a $50 game that was in development for over half a decade wouldn't have over three hours worth of cutscenes in the five hour experience that you're front loading with a walking portion that pretty much boils down to you moving forward for the first 40 minutes. To some people, that's okay. But to gamers, maybe not for this asking price, especially when the best aspects of it people can receive for free by just tuning into YouTube. Do you see the problem? If you agree, like and subscribe and leave a comment to push this video up since I'm so frequently getting age restricted or having videos not even go out to people when it's not unsubscribing them. The, the issue with Xbox at this point in this ongoing unicycle accident it's calling its demise is that it's pretty hard not to laugh at at this point. And as of late beta testers, you have more than enough reason to be frustrated. I'll be honest and just saying out loud, I had to push myself to make this video and you can probably tell I'm not going too hard in the editing department because I wanted to get somewhere in X Defiant to give you guys an idea of how that plays. Wuthering Waves just dropped and I'm really amused by the musical aspect and the Pokemon or Echo collection of it all. You know, I'm looking forward to things like Project Mugen, you know, Crimson Desert which is finally getting itself together and pushing out a demo soon, so the sooner we can get that done with, the sooner I can potentially see some Doke V. You all know I'd consider it more convenient to play Vampire Survivors on the PlayStation, and with things in the future like Chrono Odyssey, Black Myth Wukong, Path of Exile 2, The First Descendant, which is having a beta in the next two days, Azure Promelia, which I'm extremely excited about. News about GTA 6 and how woke that may potentially end up being. Xbox is dead, so Gears of War, Halo could potentially be rolling out in a cross-platform kind of renaissance way, and we can see how they ruin that together. It'll be a fun experience together. As I'm playing Wuthering Waves, I'm hit as usual with the feeling that I really wish there was kind of like a Marvel game that looked as flashy and kick-ass as this is with the polish of them kind of giving something away in the hopes of competing, because that's what this shit's all about. Genshin Impact's MiHoYo is already flinching, raising a resin cap, which may not mean anything to you, but it's a sign that, oh, hey, you, you, should, you should stay with us, you know what I mean, when this Wuthering Waves thing is coming out, and <laughs> yeah, that's what you want to see. Sega may have some things to show, finally, if that's what you're into. Fortnite has a new season kicking off. I'm eager to see if Warner Brothers goes crazy making Hogwarts a live service. Some of you are probably excited to see whatever man face they got on a Wonder Woman game that's coming out. Uh, ditto with the Tomb Raider slop that they inevitably kick out the door. Blue Protocol seems to be going dormant for a while. And I'm sure there's all kinds of embarrassing, just 
alpha tier, unpolished, extraction shooter type nonsense that we can all laugh at as it gets pumped down the pipes. You know, I know Bungie's working on Marathon. I think Arc Raiders was a extraction shooter. Just miss that mark. You don't even want to hear about what Valve is working on these days, man. I, it, I What I'm eager to do is just share experiences together with you guys. Wow. Oh my God, Kaya, I feel so safe. I could just be like topless around you. Exactly, you know. Things are about to get too silly for me to stay too rigid with these videos that I love to make. So, you know, remember stuff like PlayStation and Lego coming together to make a Horizon Lego game. You know what I mean? Because remember, there's also a Horizon VR game where you climbed a mountain. They totally didn't just slap the Horizon brand on that. There's a rumored, there's a rumored M. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that part. I'm not gonna say this part. Just know there's another Horizon game potentially being messed with, and then they're working on a multiplayer as well as the single player game. You ever go all in on something to where most people it's just like, eh? <laughs> That's fucking Horizon right now. And I'm just, you know, I'm sure that the next show is gonna be really funny because everybody wants a live service, but everything that they put out there is like a vomit bundle. What about people who are not into vomit? Hmm? Are you considered appealing to those people? We should all be very thankful that the pendulum is swinging back in the correct direction as it pertains to, uh, you know, getting away from this woke nonsense that is making it impossible for people to just have fun and be edgy in a video game. Jesus Christ. So, I used to... I used to wonder, why can't we get a good Simpsons game? You know what I mean? I'm sure they're making all the money they want to off their mobile game, but, you know, it wouldn't kill them to just even remake an old one. That'd be cool, right? But then I thought about how even the show had to deal with the woke of them being mad that a black character in the show wasn't voiced by a black person. Oh, so I'd like to read you this quote about how in The Simpsons, Harry Shearer based the black physician, Dr. Hibbert, after Bill Cosby. And later they ended up hiring a black actor to do an imitation of Harry Shearer's voice, which he describes as a black man imitating a white man, imitating what at the time was the whitest black man on TV. <laughs> Hearing Disney and games journalists talk about YouTubers stealing their audience, it just makes it clear that they're feeling the pressure from entertainers that are offering something more than they're getting where they should be getting it. And the things they're paying for, the media, the, the used to be escape entertainment. What's worse is everything's being made soft and just having their edges shaved off and they're trying to imply that competitive spirit passion is toxicity when ign can claim that oh he's just a riot starter who's throwing his controller look how angry and toxic he is like suck my balls ign we breathe competition it's not just about getting it done it's not just about being the best. It's about putting some style on it sometimes. Shooters, fighting games, racing games, mini games like Mario Party and Fall Guys Sports. It's, whether it's realistic, whether it's silly and cute, it's a dick measuring contest. Men are why gaming as we know it exists. And you can have your puzzle, your movie, and comfy farming, brush to horsehair bullcrap. We won't be trying to fix it. For you, because some of this stuff isn't broken, it doesn't need fixing, but we will enhance it. We should enhance one another's projects. But Woke needs to remove choice, downgrade, force the, the, the color into shades of gray, make the music noise. You gotta inject the gay at every opportunity in a way that compromises. And I've delighted in showing just how transparent this has occurred with Disney. So you can see how they tried and failed with what they're trying to implement here. I'm cheerleading for them now at this point. I know it's cheaper to replace than to repair. And 
the baby in the bathwater gotta go. So, you know, good good luck to him. I love you. I don't want to hold you for too long. I just want you to know there's excitement because there's some fun stuff coming up. And I, I hope that you'll join me in kind of getting a good look at it. I think it's going to be difficult for people like me to pay attention to the boring aspects of the gaming industry now because the people who like to pretend that this is all oh it's going up in flames just like with the characters they're forced to ride the coattails of to try to race swap and change their orientation they're going to be seeing with projects ready to show themselves off now just how much more will cast them entirely in its shadow. To the patrons, to the commenters, to the beta testers, thank you. And buckle up. <laughs>